Good morning guys, well at least it's morning for me. Today I'm going to be filming and sharing with you my living room tour. I'm slowly working my way around my flat, opening up the doors for you guys to see what my home looks like. If you didn't know, me and my boyfriend Josh bought our flat four years ago and we've been living here ever since, making it our own home, changing things constantly. Now I'm not anywhere near an interior designer or an expert in that department but I do feel quite proud of my home at the current moment I've just kind of personalized it the way I like it and one big tip I would recommend for you guys if you're moving out is just take it slowly when I originally moved here with Josh we bought a lot of things in advance that just didn't really fit or feel homely anymore so yeah we had to throw a lot of things away sell a lot and basically start fresh and now we're kind of slowly becoming happier with it it takes a long time to build a home and make it your own so yeah four years later i am gonna share my living room with you guys for you guys who don't know i'm not the most sharing person of my life i'm quite private i like to keep myself to myself i don't get too involved in other people's dramas i just am living life for myself and with josh and i'm really happy with that so yeah i do have a bit of an issue on sharing things and opening up but I am slowly getting there as I get older, I'm beginning to trust people a little bit more and yeah, I don't know why but I feel like now is the perfect time to share my home with you guys. I don't know why but that's how I feel at the moment. Four years ago I just wanted to move out, keep things private, keep things to myself but now I just feel like I'm ready. Don't know why can't really explain it any further than that but yeah so I'm gonna just do like a vlog it's just gonna be a quick run over on everything that I have in my living room basically so I hope you guys enjoy I hope this video is useful and you can get some kind of home inspiration from it and you can feel a little bit more a part of my life if that makes sense as well because you guys have been on my channel for a while some of you have requested this video some of you probably don't even care that I'm making this video in the first place but either way I'm making this video for myself really to look back on because we don't know how much longer we're going to be living in this flat for we are considering moving to a house massively that is something on my mind and something that I just really want I just want a garden I want some pets because it can be quite lonely living in a flat We've got Josh, but we both work different shifts and different times, so we kind of miss each other. So it'd be quite nice to have a house, be able to chill in a garden, especially over this year. We just realised how much we miss having the outdoor space. I mean, we can go out for walks and stuff like that, but having your own little garden to kind of just chill in after a long day, I don't know. I just that's something I want in life so hopefully I will get there I'm not rushing things I thought I feel like good things take time so I'm not rushing anything but yeah long story short I don't know how much longer we're gonna be living in this flat so as usual I've definitely waffled on way too much so we're gonna get into the tour open up the doors and let you guys in so this is my hallway I'm just going to open up my living room door and show you guys what's inside so as we open up my living room door, this is the view of my living area. As you can see, it's quite a nice size, not too big, not too small. So this is the layout, this is the space that I have to chill in after work. Um, it's not the best, as I said, I'm nowhere near an interior designer, but as we walk in through, this is the main back feature wall. We've got a brick wallpaper, which is from B&M, classic statement. I've always wanted that kind of wallpaper when I moved out, so that definitely had to go up on the wall. This sofa is actually from DHS, if I'm saying that right, I'm not 100% sure. Quite expensive, but I really, really like this effect, and I love the little edges here, and it's super cozy, so we bought that literally a few weeks after we moved in, and we love it, it's super comfy. Um, the pillows here, these three are from B&M. These actually came with it, but I could have ordered them in this colour, which I really wish I did. I ordered them in different colour just because I feel like they would stand out a lot more. Um, but I actually wish I bought them in the same colour as the actual sofa. Um, but there we are. I've kind of tried to make it work, tried to make it fit in. This one is actually from B&M as well. This one's from Asda and then this little one here is from B&M. So quite affordable. This one was actually a birthday present from my mum. Not sure where she got it from. And yeah, that is my sofa area. It's pretty comfy, pretty cozy. We lie out here watching films. And then as we go over to the shelving area here, this three piece shelving unit come from B&M. And I think again, it was like 10.99 for the set pretty affordable especially if you're moving out for the first time keep it affordable you don't want to splash out on anything too expensive because like I said at the beginning you just don't know 
if it's going to fit in. So anyway, as we move into this area, I've got this really nice woodwork piece from my friend Mike. He sadly passed away a couple of years ago and I just keep it here as a reminder to him. He was really good at woodwork. I loved elephants so he made this piece for me and then I coloured it over with a silver glitter and it just looks really really pretty and I just love having it there. It's like a really nice sentimental piece. And then this clock here I bought recently from Ikea and it was £9. I haven't had a clock in my home for about, well since I moved in because the one I bought actually broke and then I just never replaced it. These two little plants here are from Ikea, set of three for £5. I've got the other one down here and I just really really cute I love them as a set but I just thought I had to separate them just to kind of evenly distribute this area and make it look really homely got a couple of books here this little candlelight holder is from Ikea and then moving on to this little shelf here I've got this picture from New Year's of me and Josh a couple of years back we've got these room scents these ones are in the scent grapefruit and ginger I absolutely love this scent so much so I just keep that here so when guests are coming around I can just make it smell really lovely and then this radiator cover is actually from Argos. It was the only one that fit our radiator size, so we just had to get that. I think it was around 60, 80 pounds, I'm not 100% sure. I just like it because you've got an extra space to put stuff on. At the moment, I currently have two photo frames, one from Venice of me and Josh, and then this other little one here is from Menorca when we went with Anna and Davey. And then as we step back a bit, this little cabinet here is from Argos as well. I currently have a few little homeware pieces on here. This little light is actually from Aldi. It was like $8.99. And I've got a really nice collection of crystals. These ones have been found on the Isle of Wight Caves and Wookiee Hole. So I've got a little collection going on there. And then here is something that Josh bought me for our anniversary. Two little elephants. And then this is what we bought from Menorca. We had this on our dining table when we had our meals with Anna and Dave. And I just thought I had to get something that kind of makes it sentimental. So this is what I picked up from Menorca. And I just keep it there as a little reminder of our time away and then up here I've just got three suitcases and in here we have loads of little memories and receipts from holidays and stuff like that I feel like it's really cute and holds a lot of little moments in here this little love clock ornament is from my nan when I moved in as a moving in present I've got my DVDs in these two little tubs here from Argos and then in these drawers again I just have more CDs and I've got like bingo pens for when I do game nights which I do quite a lot and then in this bottom drawer I've just got like spare batteries and all sorts of kind of junk in there so that is this area complete this lamp here is actually from Ikea I feel like everyone needs a lamp and it just fits perfectly in the corner and just adds a really cozy kind of feel to our little flat so then moving on to this side of the room I've got my dining table this is actually from Amazon it was like 49 pounds for the chairs and the table and I've just stuck a marble contact paper on the top just to add a nice like modern touch to it I guess I need to do the chairs but just haven't got around to that yet so ignore that and then the placemats are actually from Amazon as well I just feel like with the brick wallpaper it just kind of suit the theme really nicely i'm not sure how much they cost but they weren't too expensive i don't think this little flower pot is from a friend of mine at work for my birthday don't know how it's still alive because i'm really bad at looking after them but you know it's still alive and kicking it's not dying so it must be doing something right and then in my windowsill i've got these two plant pots this one is from ikea and then this one is from a little shop on the Isle of Wight. And I feel like it just makes it look more homely having like plants and stuff. Don't know why. And then in this windowsill, I've got my little bike from HomeSense, I think. So moving on from my dining area to this little TV setup here. So starting off with this cabinet. Obviously this cabinet, as you can tell, is from Ikea. I think it was like 20 quid. I'm not 100% sure. I bought it when I first moved in. This mirror is from Wilkinson's. This basket was a present from Josh's works every year at Christmas time they give us a little hamper so that's really nice so as we move in towards this area we've got these fake plants here as a set all of this is from Ikea apart from this little pot my mum actually bought me this as a present when I first moved in and then here I've just got a few photo frames and some books that I had lying around and I feel like it just looks like it has a purpose if you know what I mean just by keeping it all in the same place before they were kind of like scattered around like underneath my table and stuff like that so I'm glad I finally got an area to put them in this photo frame I actually made the picture myself on PicMonkey it was originally in my bedroom but I just felt like in this area it just looked really cool this little globe is from HomeSense they just have really cool unique pieces in there so if you're moving out definitely recommend going to HomeSense because they have just such little 
unique little pieces and finds that are kind of personal and as we go down this area this whole section is from ikea by the way these two little drawer inserts ikea gorgeous charcoal color which i'm really into at the moment this basket was 15 pounds from ikea these ones were like three pounds 50. this cabinet door insert you can literally just put in and you just kind of screw the fittings in and it makes like a door this one was actually 17 pounds so quite expensive but i just feel like you need some kind of privacy on things like documents and stuff like that kept away at the moment i currently just have my um calendar because I don't really have anywhere to put it and it doesn't suit the theme in my living room so it just kind of sits in there for the moment. This fake plant is from Ikea as well. The actual plant pot bit is from b and I think it was like £8, something like that, but I just really liked it and I just feel like it just looked really casual and, I don't know, kind of trendy in the corner there. So moving away from this cabinet area, we're now moving on to my TV area. So this is my current view from my sofa and I feel like it looks really cool. I really like it. This cabinet I actually built myself and designed it myself in a way. In Ikea you can kind of like mix and match different pieces. The cabinet itself, like the frame was £60, the door was £35 and then these little shelves were like £5 each. So I kind of customised it to make it my own and I'm really happy with it. Again, I just love the charcoal kind of finish on the door. Complements my living area really well and it kind of makes it look really rustic and, I don't know, modern but also not in a way. Don't know what I'm saying. The TV was actually a gift from Josh's dad as a moving in present a couple of years ago. And then behind it, we have these fake, like ivory kind of plants. These were a gift from my mum for my birthday present. I really wanted some more plants because I feel like it just sets it off really nicely. The elephant is a gift again from my friend Mike. This little area here, I didn't really know what to put behind here. I actually hand painted this little wine glass and i just thought i'm gonna try and diy this whole thing so i actually painted this on with acrylic paints and it seemed to look really really nice and i've got these gold little crystals inside and i feel like it just looks quite quirky there's not anything like this out there and then these little mason jars are a present from my brother for christmas over on this side we've got this little sentiment piece from my cat gary i'm really sad that he doesn't live with us and he stays with my mum at the moment but yeah, this is my little cat Gary. I've had him for eight years, almost nine now. And yeah, I love this picture of him. And I don't know, I miss having pet company so much. And again, like all of my plants, this one is from Ikea. And then the little plant pot is from my mum. This pineapple pot is from Breen Market. It was like six pounds and I had my eye on it for years. And as I moved out, it's one of the first things I bought just because I was obsessed with it. I just think it's really different and quirky. So yeah, that is my TV area. I've got my free kind of like wise men. This was again a present from my nan. I've just got these branch lights behind it because I feel like it just sets off this area, makes it a little bit more cozy. I've got my CD player down here. So that is this area covered. So moving on to this gorgeous mirror here. As you can see, I still haven't removed the prize tags. This one is from HomeSense and I've seen it and I just fell in love with it. I just had to get it. It doesn't really go well in a living area, but I just love it so much, I had to buy it. So when we move out into a new house, this is gonna be a centerpiece in one of the rooms, maybe in the hallway as you come in, I'm not 100% sure yet, but for now it's in my living room and I feel like it just is so cool. So next to my mirror, I have this plant pot. This one is from Wilkinson's, the actual plant. This one is from Wilkinson's and then this one is from Ikea. So yeah, really, really love this mirror. I just can't get enough of it. And it used to be here, but then I had a mirror, mirror, TV, and it just didn't really look that great so i've just put it here for now until further notice really so yeah this is my living room i've got one more area left to show you guys and it's this one here so this is my cuddle chair which i picked up from argos i had to have it because i've got one sofa and i feel like i just needed another one here for when people do come around not very often but people sometimes come around to our flat so this is our cuddle chair we've got um two pillows this one was a present from my cousin for christmas it's got like mountains on it just suits the gold and white theme really nicely and then this big fluffy one here is from b m this blanket is from b m as well this little sliding table is from ikea and then this little treasure chest bit it's just got like our old tools and stuff in like drills and screwdrivers and stuff like all the manly stuff is in here it's all right down there it's hidden out of the way so 
<laughs> you know, it can stay there. So moving on to the last bit, which I have to share with you guys. This is our coffee table area. This rug is from Amazon. It does need a hoover in, but you know, ignore that. And this coffee table is from Ikea. It was £45, kind of like the same style as this little table here. This little bowl here is from Wilkinson's and then all the little pot potpourri stuff is from Marks and Spencer's, I think. And yeah, these coasters again are from Amazon. They come as a set of four and I've just got the other two up there. The last item which I've got to share with you guys from my living room is this lampshade here. Well, light shade. This is from Next and it's kind of got like this woven effect which kind of complemented the brick wallpaper again. And this one was like £18, something like this, but it's a grey colour. And it goes well with the curtains. The curtains are from Ikea as well. So that is it for my tour for my living room. I'm really happy with the way it looks at the moment. It's really hard to try and make a flat feel homely because it is quite a small space to work with. Um, but I'm really happy with the overall look. Again, I'm nowhere near an interior designer, as you can tell. Um, but I'm just really happy with the way it feels. It feels homely to us. It feels cosy. It feels clean. It feels looked after. So that is the most important thing. Um, and we have a roof over our heads as well so that is the more important thing really so yeah i hope you guys have enjoyed watching me do this like little tour of you guys let me know in the comment section down below if you want to see any content in particular and i'll try my best to kind of create that for you guys if you enjoyed again don't forget to smash this a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content from me in the future and that's it for me today thanks for watching and i'll see you all in my next video bye